It just looks so delicious, I cannot wait to dive in. Welcome to daytime, everyone. Today, it is all about food and this cake, as you can see. Now, you know, if you watch the show, you know that we love to eat. And this amazing cake is from Sweetie's Designer Cakes. Adrian Wilson right here, she's the owner. And she's like her own ace of cakes right here in Tampa <laughs> Bay. So we went inside the kitchen with Adrian to see the process of how she makes one of these works of art. There she is. Girl, you are cooking. You're moving really fast, I have to say. How long does it take to create a designer cake like this? Usually it takes about two days. It's a, it's a big process, so I spread it out about two days. Two days, and it's still edible? after two days? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> of course, it tastes even better, right? And where do you start? Do you just start with making the batter and then move on to the design, or do you do the concept first? I try to do the concept first, but it kind of evolves as I go through it. Okay, and, and I see that you really are moving from step to step to step. Is Are all the little like pieces of the cake edible? It's not just the cake itself? Everything's edible except for the rays of the sun and the seashells. Okay, so just don't bite into that Yeah, one. don't bite into that. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been making cakes? For about two and a half years. I started doing my kids' um, birthday parties and then just started to make them for my family and friends. Wow, your kids must be the most popular kids in school, yeah. having a mom who makes <laughs> such delicious cakes like this. Yeah. I think it's delicious. We will get to try it later. Absolutely. Although it must upset you to, to eat these wonderful works of art every no, once in a while. I'll go for it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I might not eat the cake right now, but I, I do have to ask you about these little cupcakes. Mm -hmm. They have become the biggest craze. Craze, cupcakes, mm -hmm. stores all over the country, even the world. Why is it such a big craze? I don't know. They're they're smaller. You know, they're easier to to serve, and they're cute. Yeah, I mean, everything little is cute. Everything little, except is cute. for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm five foot one. You know? <laughs> anyway, Adrian Wilson, these look delicious. I'm thank gonna you have so one much. of these in just awesome. a little bit. And thank you for putting all the hard work into this Absolutely. beautiful cake. Thank you. All right, guys. Now, by now, you must have seen the show Man vs. Food, and if you haven't, it involves one man taking on some of America's toughest food challenges. So who better to introduce to our own our own food challenge than our own director, Chip Hansen. Now, he's a man who loves food, and as he likes to say, he is the girth to show it. Again, those are his words. Are his words. <laughs> so without further ado, we bring you Director versus Food. Uh. All right, so we're in the kitchen now with Ivan Colandrea. He's the owner of Marina's, named for your mom. Correct. And home of the Jumbo Pizza Challenge. That's right. So what we got is a, a, it's a total of a 13 pound pizza. We've had uh, 188 pair of the guys try these this challenge and no one's ever done it yet. No one? No one. We give and you one hour to try to knock it out and no one's done it. I want to talk a little bit about what goes into this jumbo pizza. We have a five pound dough ball. Five pounds of pizza dough. It should be, you know, thick enough where it'll hold your toppings, but thin enough where you get the nice cracking, you know, Christmas and a nice kind of brick oven bake. Yeah. This is going to be one big pizza. I, I, I got to grab the screen. Look at the screen. Oh, go Look ahead. at this. Look at this. 28 inches, the screen. The best way to make a sauce is to use a crushed San Marzano tomato. It's an Italian tomato. Uh, I like to season mine with the f like fresh ingredients like fresh basil, olive oil. So how much sauce are we putting on the jumbo pie? We just put, it, we just put two pounds of sauce on two the Two pounds of sauce on a five pound crust. And next time we're gonna go with the cheese. Yep, and what we're doing here is putting now three pounds of cheese. Three pounds of cheese. I gotta actually, I'm gonna steal some of this because it's cheese. Oh yeah, for the challenge, your your guests can ask for any three toppings they want. Yeah, with, you know, any three toppings within reason. I can, my my whole idea on this is one pound is one pound, no matter what it is. Now your mushrooms, is that is that some maybe some granulated garlic and black pepper uh, I'm seeing in there? No, fresh garlic. Fresh garlic. Yeah. Uh, no granulated stuff here. All right, here's your pie. There it goes. Are you seeing this? That is just, just, this is just an amazing looking pizza. 
Again, the crust so thin and it's going to be crispy. I gotta take a bite. Yeah, take a bite. All right, I'm gonna let it hang off the edge of the plate because I think it could be disastrous yeah. otherwise. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's perfect. It, this might well be the perfect pizza. Ivan, thank you very much. You're welcome. This is amazing. And we're going to try some other things. In the meantime, I think we've got a challenge again. Yeah, we're going to get through a challenge. All right, let's do it. Challenge time. We've got the jumbo pie in the oven. We've got our two competitors, Bobby and Dave. They are looking to be the first to put their names on the blank black board of fame. There's got to be a strategy. Bobby? Uh, teamwork and what we picked out on our, as our, our extra stuff. As the toppings. OK, so there's strategy to the toppings, Dave? Uh, it's pretty much what I woke up. Mm, what sounds good this morning? So what sounded good this morning? Ham, mushrooms, mushrooms and, onion. and onions. All right. Yeah. The pie's going to be out in just a few minutes, and we'll get down to business. You guys ready? Let's do it. Wait. All right, boys, here we go. All right. All right. All right. You guys know the rules, so let's do this. You ready? All right. All right. Go. So time starts, and Bobby and Dave dive in like men on a marinara mission. Now the first few slices go down really easily. Remember, this is primo pizza. And 15 minutes in, confidence is still high. I think I can do it. How you feeling? Really good. I'm trying. Can't stop. Definitely here to win. But it's not long before these guys hit the wall. Oh, it's in there. <laughs> All right, we're going back. And even with Mama Marina herself cheering them on, slowly, slowly, you're gonna make Let's it. Touch it. This monster pie proves to be just too much. All right, gentlemen, looks like maybe we've hit the wall here. Yeah, we got about 15 minutes left, guys. What do you think? I'm not feeling it. I tried my best. They tried their best. Does that mean what I think it means? <laughs> oh, we're throwing in the towels. Okay, oh, guys. we're throwing in the towels. All Look, right, guys. Boys. What, 45 minutes they went? Yeah, 45 minutes. About half the pizza. Well, these guys definitely packed some pizza away, and he oddly enough, he actually wants to box up yes. the rest of it and take it home. You gotta give respect to a guy that eats four pounds of pizza and wants to take the rest home. It's that good. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Ivan. Thank you, everyone here at Marina's Pizza in Bradenton. This has been a great challenge. Thank you guys very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thanks so much. All right, well, well, they did a great job, and we actually are talking to our director, Chip Hansen, who is in the and control room. take remote. Room. Hi, Chip, can you hear us? Hi, Lindsay, I've got you. <laughs> hey, listen, only one piece for you, and those guys put down, what, four pounds each? Four pounds each, something like that, give or take. I didn't get more than one piece because our producer, Deanna, ate most of ours. Oh, but okay. What it, can it, you do? Deanna was the tall, thin, pretty girl in there that was wiping down one of the guy's faces. Right. Um, Chip, when you go into a challenge like this, do you, because you're a man who likes to eat. Yeah, you, you can any, tell. <laughs> no, those are your words. Um, do you have any advice for the contestants? I, I would say, come hungry. I mean, good Lord, <laughs> that's a lot of pizza, so. <laughs> I think Dan is telling us to wrap this up. So I did want to say one thing though. Oh, if, yes. if pizza's not your thing, yeah. they've got salads and pasta dishes, and they say they've got the best Philly cheesesteak in town. And, I, and having eaten there now, I believe them. All it's right, good well, stuff. Well, listen, how much did the pizza weigh again? Uh, it was 13 pounds pre cooked and 11 pounds cooked. All right, your next challenge is to eat a 13 pound Philly <laughs> cheesesteak. All right, Okay, Jim? yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do with that. I'll, <laughs> I'll put together another little package at some point soon. All right, cool. Thanks, Ready, five. Chip. In the Take meantime, five. I'm gonna stick to these cupcakes and I gotta get our getaway girl, Casey Wall, in here. Come on, come on, you gotta try one of these cupcakes. Oh my gosh, uh, from these are amazing. Designer cakes. This is Adrian Wilson. Hey, what do you have coming up on the show? Anything good to eat and travel, maybe? Absolutely, if you like travel and you like food, which I do, I've got some great destinations for you. All right, now, and they're domestic or all over the world? All over. Ah, all right, well, we're gonna hear more from Casey in just a little bit. I'm gonna eat one of these, and Adrian, you too. Thank you. And uh, we'll be right back with a lot more good eating. Oh, there's... Set black. 